Hello Libra, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Charo. I'm gonna do your year 2024 prediction. What this year is bringing to you, what you're going to experience this year, Sun, Moon, Rising, any placements in Libra, you can watch this reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, any placements. So general reading, please take what resonates and leave the rest. You can book a personal reading, everything is given in description. You can reach out to me if you want to. Link is given in bio. Follow me on Instagram, link is given in bio. Um, please do not get scammed. I will never ever contact you anywhere on social media. Let's go, Libra. Let's see what this year, 2024, bringing for you, to you. What's happening? What you will experience this year? Libra. We have the sucker, foolish, and victimized. So some of you, you could, you could be keep repeating the same cycle. You could be keep dealing with the same thing. It's time to heal and save yourself from this toxic cycle because I think there's something about sucker. Like, could be a sucker coming to you, the person that who really put you in a victim mentality or victim mindset. Or you need to get out of this victim mindset that things cannot be changed. You cannot change your life. No. The past is the past. It's time to grow. It's time to glow. It's time to move forward. That's the year. And save yourself from the toxic people, toxic relationship or toxic friendships or even from the same repetitive cycle. It's time to move on. It's a new year. It's a new beginning. It's a new glow. Change your mind. Change your perception. If you will keep dealing with the foolish things or victimize people or keep making yourself fool, like keep sucking, you know, like other people, um, problem. Don't, don't, don't be a fixer. Don't try to fix other people. Fix your life. Save yourself. There's also something about warning here because it's a warning. Rook, there could be someone coming back to you. Please get out of this cycle because if you will not, then it's going to be a same repetitive cycle or maybe it's like same victim mindset that you will attract people who are not there for you. You are good enough. Don't think like that. You need someone to be there for you, to love you, to admire you, to value you. If someone is not giving you anything, just relax. And we have the solar path. It's okay to be solo. It's okay to be alone. It's okay to heal yourself and wait for the right person, right situation to come towards you. And also take care of your health. Yeah, look at the rebirth card. Definitely it's about rebirth. It's about giving birth to yourself, a new version of you. What you want to see yourself, how you see yourself in the future. What is your future self? Talk about it. See in the mirror. What is your future self? You just want to be same like that or you just want to change yourself, your appearance, your lifestyle, your thinking pattern, your relationship pattern. Everything is going to be changed once you're going to think differently, live differently or feel differently. So we have a recover and restore. Yes, this is the, this is the year I'm telling you. I don't know who I'm talking to, but this is the year that restored that energy. Save yourself even though fixing other people or saving other people. No, this is not your duty. This is not your responsibility. And we also have a sucker. So there's someone definitely coming to you, uh, maybe want to re want a rebirth, reunion, reconciliation with you, but think about it. Think about it. It's like a same repetitive cycle. Are they really changed or are you just wasting your time on the same type of a people, same type of a cycle? Also, we have the travel. So yeah, this is a year that you will travel maybe somewhere, like especially I'm saying the world. So travel the world. We have the solo path and travel. So some of you, you will do solo traveling this year, solo path. Uh, you are even going to move somewhere, like one place to another, into a different country. If you have a big plans, then definitely you need to work on that plans. Okay, if you want to travel, if you want to move, if you want to enjoy the life, if you want to maybe um, fix your life, it's, this is a year. Yeah, you could be when dealing with a foreigner, long distance relationship. Okay, some of you, you will meet this person online, internet, or when you're traveling, when you're being there, physically present there. Okay, maybe you will meet this person there. You will definitely do traveling a lot this year, either it's personal, formal, or trips. Yeah, and the next card is drawing. Look at this, drawing. We have a dead end, no way out. So some of you, you keep dealing with the situation that it's over, it's finished, but you keep giving the, you know, like... You keep dealing with it. Dead end. It's a dead end. It's like no way out here. So it's time to get out of this situation. You, you even don't have a time to think about it. It's time to just save yourself from this toxic situation. Whatever it is. Toxic situation, environment, place, person, whatever. We also have inspiration, hopes, and dreams. Yeah, this is the year that you can. Look at this. It's like, it's like a paint. Paint your life. How, how do you see yourself in the future? 
there's a hopes, there's a dreams. You can definitely bring your, like you can achieve your dreams. You can go after what you want, but how are you gonna do it? That's a big challenge. That's a big challenge for you. But I think this is a year that you will definitely, for some of you, you will inspire a lot of people, okay? Like you're definitely going to follow your hopes, your dreams, your wish fulfillment. You're gonna go after what do you want. It's definitely a rebirth of you or your lifestyle. There's a big movement for you also. You could be shifting. Some of you, it could be um, your health energy. Like you're, really, you're definitely going to, you're going to be okay. You really need to take care of your health. There's something about warning here. It's like it's warning. It's alert. You are on the dead end. If you're not going to save yourself, you will be drawn. That type of energy. Either it's romantic. It could be even financial things. Like you keep repeating the same mistakes, same cycles. Okay, and you're not learning it. Even it could be relationships. If you're not going to do that, you will be done and you will be drawn. It's time to stand up for yourself, Libra. If you're not going to do that, then I don't know. What, what should I say? It's your life, obviously. Let's see what's happening for Libra this year. Yeah, we have a chariot. Keep moving forward. It's time. Be determined. What do you want? Be sure of it. There are, there's a more travel with a chariot, okay? There's also like big achievement. You have to take lead of your life. You are the leader. You have to take the lead. Where you want to go, what do you want to do, where you want to focus, what you want to achieve, what are your dreams, what are your goals, or you just want to keep thinking about it and doing nothing. Chariot, yes, it's time. Do it. Knight of Wands, go after it. Knight of Wands, go after what do you want. Your passion, follow your passion, follow your dreams. And be inspiration for other people also. Save yourself. Come on. We also have Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this is something about your work. Work life, this is also something that you definitely going to be uh, work, you will be working on your definitely dreams, goals, and also you will put a lot of hard work. You will be also more adventurous, open minded, and travel a lot. I can see that. Now, some of you definitely dealing with a foreigner, someone who live on the distance from you, or there could be a short distance or a long distance, but there will be travel involved, by the way, whoever you're dealing with. You will meet this person through work, or I told you, like when you're traveling or when you are in this person's country or place or they are in your whatever it is, that's how you're going to meet this person. A lot of you, you're going to meet this person th through work. You know, when you are working, when you're working on your dreams or passion, maybe that's how you're going to connect with this person. You're also going to work on your craft. If you think you have a passion, you have a desire to do something, do it. Why are you wasting your time? You will be successful in some matters. Yeah, the devil. Look at this. this whatever you want, it's definitely need a lot of hard work. A lot of passion, a lot of desire to achieve those things. I know it's very challenging, but the challenge is like you have to accept this challenge with the devil energy. There is a lot of blockages too in order to move forward, in order to get whatever you want. And I'm also feeling you could be dealing with someone who's very obsessed with you and there will be obstacles between you and this person, but it's going to work. They will, I think, fight for it. They will come back. This could be someone with a devil energy and knight of, a knight of wands because it's a knight of wands. They could be Capricorn. They could be Sagittarius. Cancer, even could be Virgo or Capricorn, Taurus maybe you're dealing with, Aquarius. Yeah, whoever this is, they're going to be very obsessed with you. They're very, very passionate about you. Uh, but there will be some obstacles and I think they're not going to give up on you. So they're going to prove you that they're into you. This could be someone who's a workaholic. They're going to be very, very attractive. And Devil and Knight of Wands also giving me the vibe of someone who's a player who is a player, they're a sucker. They're in a victim mental, mental mindset, okay? This is someone who's like a victim mindset. You cannot fall for a player. You cannot change the player. You cannot fix the player. They're the sucker, they're drowning. Stop fixing them, stop saving them. If you have this fixer mindset, oh my God, I can fix this person. No, you cannot. So stop doing that, Libra, this year. Okay, I also feel this could be uh, either, it's a, it's, this is the person who is coming in the new shape or new form, like you will meet. So you need to see, you need to see the red flags. You need to see what this person is doing, if they're putting the equal effort or not. Otherwise, don't waste your time with the eight of diamonds, eight of pentacles. You need to put, you need to see that if they're putting the effort or not. I also feel this is someone that you already know. So they're gonna be, there will be a rebirth between you and this person. But you need to see how much effort they're putting. Are they changed or they just keep doing again those, those like player? This is a player, I think. This, this is also giving me the vibe of like someone who's a player falling in love. 
okay our player want to settle down but this is going to be a biggest challenge for this person an obstacle they could even have a big ego they could be even very very attractive very charismatic he or she whoever this is um, they're also like could be very adventurous open-minded they're definitely going to live on the distance so that could be a biggest challenge okay so how it's going to work it's definitely you're going to find a way don't worry with the eight of pentacles it's going to be a fix between you and this person this person will travel to see you or meet you queen of cups yes because this person has a lot of love for you there will be an age gap between you and this person this person will definitely love you a lot they will be obsessed with you they will do anything for this connection now some of you this is your own trauma that's stopping you to get out of your comfort zone i'm talking about you that's your tra own trauma is stopping you to get out of your comfort zone to be more creative and to be more passionate and go after what do you want and you're really with the ten of crystal is like really standing here waiting for the opportunity and wasting your time don't do it don't give up on your dreams you will achieve it keep working hard on your craft with the queen of cups and eight of pentacles and the devil you will have, you will be also working very hard this year a lot of you libras you will be very occupied by a lot of work so take care of your health there's something temptation here either this person will be temptated to you or they will see you as a temptation but you need to see the efforts here. You need to see how much effort they're putting. And I think this person is definitely going to put the effort with the Ten of Wands. There will be definitely a lot of, lot of exhausting energy and ups and downs here. This could be even someone who's a workaholic entering in your life. They're very workaholic. They're very driven by their, their work, passion. This could be definitely someone who lives on the distance. So that's going to be a biggest challenge. But I think you can work it. You can fix it. This person really wants to fix the situation between you and them. They want a rebirth. They're not going to give up, by the way, whoever this is. You're definitely going to receive a message from them. They want to communicate. They want to talk. Now, some of you, this is you. You maybe want to move abroad or you want to go somewhere, but it's going to be a biggest challenge for you that how you will do it or how you will achieve this success. You're also going to achieve uh, some type of... You will definitely see yourself getting some type of achievement, recognition, okay? Yeah, elevate yourself. This is, this is the year that you need to focus on your self-worth. Keep focusing on you. Elevate your energy. Don't settle for less. Don't compromise. That's a message. Very clear message, Libra. Don't compromise. Don't fall for the temptation, red flags. And then you'll be like, oh my God, what should I do now? It's a one-sided. This person is not putting the effort. Don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, be authentic with yourself. And even though if this person is not putting the effort, you need to be authentic. Be yourself. And I'll let this person know that what you're looking for. Be clear. And also be authentic in your work. That's how you will attract, you know, a lot of attention. A lot of, um, you know, like you will be successful in your work. Whatever the work you're doing. That's your reading. I'm going to see you later. Bye.